she doesn't poop on the floor, it's fine with me. Wait, don't you want to ask me any more questions? Do you poop on the floor? No. Congratulations, you just made the first cut. Wait here, the parents will be home soon to interview you. Go to Quickie Cuts? I'm gonna spend my day off all by myself in Central Park. The bananas if I get hungry, the sunscreens in case it's hot, and the peanuts <laughs> are in case I meet a squirrel. A cowboy hat, he put a rope around my heart. And everything was awesome at the start. Then he kissed a bleach blonde waitress and I saw through his disguise. Oh, I've had it up to here with these Texas guys. So now I'm here in NYC. Gonna find a guy who's only in me. The Lone Star State is great, but I'll say my goodbyes. I've had it up to here with those Texas guys. Well, I've had it up to here with those Texas guys. Sweetie. Wouldn't you rather have a more visible playmate? I mean, um, oh, what about that little girl? <laughs> She's picking her nose. <laughs> Woo! Go, Luke! Careful! If you break your neck, your parents will break mine. <laughs> Doesn't Luke have the most amazing moves? <laughs> yeah, you should see him wiggle out of doing chores. <laughs> Why two cameras? I can't decide which is his best side. Plus, if I blink and miss something, I have two backups. <laughs> Good thinking. Here I am blinking and missing everything. Bertram, you forgot your hammock. It's not a hammock. It's my bathing suit, which I will wear as I frolic in the crystal blue waters of Mexico. Bum, 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 bum. And this is my impression of the fish when he does. <laughs> I cannot wait to tell people that we're hanging out with Jordan Taylor. But Mr. Daddy said we are not supposed to tell anyone. Oh, please. I have to do something to impress people. Second grade is cutthroat. There's a girl who can pick her nose with her tongue. <laughs> it is 0700 hours. Out of your cuts and hit the mess hall for eggs, Florentine, and chocolate croissants. <laughs> Okay, this rich people food really kills my whole military vibe. Fair ends in three hours and my report is due tomorrow. What? I cannot believe you waited until the last minute again. Social studies is hard. When I first signed up, I thought I'd be mostly social, but it turns out to be mostly studies. <laughs> oh! Whoa! No! <laughs> what? what was that? Raining diamonds. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Let's go check the sauna for Matt Lauer. <laughs> so funny, I failed to see the magic in these magic rings. Jesse, Rosslings, check out my new dolly. Uh -huh. I can carry luggage, schlep garbage. I can even ride it. Watch me catch air. <laughs> Just stay out of Agatha's way. Oh, Jesse! What's going on? I tried to use the slide, but Axel pulled me down. Then he said he'd make Millie the mermaid into a spicy tuna roll. <laughs> then again, he did take Mr. Kipling's chew toy. <laughs> In Bertram's defense, the chew toy was his shoe. And he was still wearing it. Stay stuck. The glue that sticks forever. <laughs> okay, maybe two jiffies. <laughs> 
You didn't read the label on the tube before you put it in your hair? Even I would have done that, and I am totally against reading. But the guy you should be talking to is Ravi. He has great manners and a heck of a vocabulary. Does he have freckles? I love freckles. Uh, you change it, slide! No, no, Ravi, dude, you don't understand. Do not digest. <laughs> Take five extra minutes to shop for a reasonably priced bouquet, and you move in on my woman! No! <laughs> so wise of you not to let poor little Zuri into the beauty pageant. Having you as a nanny is humiliating enough. Agatha, I thought we were friends now. Mates, chums. Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Zuri's feelings. She wouldn't stand a chance in this pageant against my Lindsay. Lindsay! <laughs> oh. No. Talk about Beauty and the Beast. What do you mean? Lindsay is lovely. <laughs> Having trouble connecting those dots, are you? <laughs> now, my point is, Lindsay's face has probably never made a horse faint. Uh, Emma? While I was asleep, did you rob a stagecoach? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, What's up, Emma? Maybe you'd have better luck if you let Zuri and me play on your date. Are you serious? Jesse, you know how I'm not supposed to play with scissors? Well, dating is your scissors. And if we don't take it out of your hands, someone's gonna lose an eye. I'm teaching him to walk like a man so he can impress this girl he likes, Tanya. Oh, oh maybe I can help. How about we do some role playing? Sounds great. I'll be the motorcycle cop and you be the speeding bikini model. <laughs> I'll be Tanya. Okay. And I will be the motorcycle cop? There was no motorcycle cop. Since Emma and her stupid smartphone made the plane crash, when the food runs out, I say we cook her first. <laughs> no! You're right, there's a lot more meat on Bertram. <laughs> Are you gonna try out for the play? I've gotten the lead role every year since my kindergarten health pageant. He played gingivitis. <laughs> what can I say? I've got talent, good looks, and charisma. And don't forget that weird egg smell. You smell it too? <laughs> and still, he gets all the girls. Meanwhile, I douse myself with manly cologne. And I get bupkis. Hello, fellow thespians. <laughs> Hark, doth I see a sign-up sheet? A little Shakespeare for you there. Uh, Connie, you've never tried out for the school play before. I know, but I just suddenly felt the urge to be on stage and feel the lights on my face. Didn't you get enough of that during your police lineup? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, Zuri, my first audition. One day, you'll be able to say you knew me when. You mean when we had to stand in line forever and there was no roller coaster at the end of it? <laughs> How can you be bored? It's showbiz. <laughs> we might see Johnny Depp. Or we could just wait for Thanksgiving. Johnny Depp is my godfather. <laughs> and every year he buries some treasure in the stuffing. Hey, there's the gotcha day, girl. Were you trying to sneak a peek at your party decorations? No, I know it's out there. Unicorns, rainbows, the huge. I can't wait. Uh, and uh, what if there were no unicorns or rainbows? That's a world I would not want to live in. <laughs> Me neither. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, now, now go hang out in your room until the party's ready. Okay. <laughs> I hope I can return a gently used lion. <laughs> Look, he's sitting in that giant nest. What is a giant nest doing on our terrace? Obviously holding those giant eggs. <laughs> Ravi, is it possible that those are Mr. Kipling's eggs? Are you saying what I think you are saying? Yeah. She's saying that Mr. Kipling went to the store and bought some eggs. Try and keep up. <laughs> so, Mr. Kipling is a Mrs. Kipling? No, that cannot be. Oh, it be. <laughs> so who's the baby daddy? Unless I totally misunderstood that film in health class, there has to be a dude lizard involved. Wait a minute. Remember when we crash landed in the jungle and Mr. Kipling made a friend? That friend must have been really friendly. 
At least somebody had fun on that trip. <laughs> Robbie, do you realize what this means? Yes. I'm going to be a grandfather. <laughs> and I've been walking around in my tighty whities in front of a girl. <laughs> At least you never took a bath with her. <laughs> ah! No! Ah! I'll save you, Robbie. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen you catch anything but a cold. <laughs> the egg is shaking. The miracle of life has just burst forth right in my hands. Anybody got a wet nap? <laughs> oh, he has Mrs. Kipling's eyes. <laughs> and her breath. Who are you? Spies from Cafe Palais Poulet trying to sabotage my opening? Listen, we're really sorry. Just let us collect our last few lizard eggs and we'll be on our way. And I promise you, no more lizard births. 